What do we know about Antonio Brown's absence from practice? Well, they didn't practice Monday. They come in for meetings. Um, it's required. They come in for meetings, and, um, you know, they 45 minutes in a locker room. They're supposed to talk to us. And, um, you know, it's a short day for them, but he, he blew it off. Now, Tuesdays are off days for the players. A lot come in anyway to watch film and stuff. Wednesday, they start practicing, and he is in there right now at the uh, facility. Was there a reason given for his uh, absence? Well, his agent through Rosenhaus said it was uh, a personal reason, but nobody informed the Steelers that he would be absent. So uh, I think that's uh, an agent trying to make uh, a better light of why he missed practice. I think, hey, nobody knows for sure, but um, I, I think he just blew it off because he's, he's been upset. Uh, it was obvious on Sunday how upset he was. Okay, why is he upset? I know uh, he had words with the offensive coordinator. Yeah, we don't know that because uh, they're certainly trying to get him the ball. They've, they've targeted him 33 times. Now, he's only caught about half of those, and his average is 8.9 a catch. I believe he averaged like 15 last year, So, um, and he only has one touchdown catch. You know, he he didn't look very happy when, when Ben uh, it was a pass play, but he scrambled and dove into the end zone for a three-yard touchdown that brought them within five of Kansas City with two minutes left last week. Everybody was over there congratulating Ben, and, and Antonio just looked like he was sulking coming off the field. Because he wanted the ball? Like, I don't he know how... He always wants the ball, Dan. Always wants the ball. Even though you scored a touchdown? Yes, he's done that before. Oh. Okay, how big of... Of, of an issue are these issues uh, locally because you know nationally we're always curious with the Steelers because they have the potential to go to the Super Bowl every year I'm just curious is is this just sort of the norm in Pittsburgh or is this a big deal in Pittsburgh well it 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 it, it seems to happen once a year with Antonio last year he threw a big fit in Baltimore uh just was going crazy uh tossed over the Gatorade bucket um and that was because he felt he was open and been through somewhere else. Um, <laughs> it, it, it happened. It seems to happen once a year anyway. Um, but it, it went a step further when uh, he put, he responded to the one fellow trade me. Let's see what happens. Um, and then he didn't show up Monday. That, that ramped it up a little bit more, Dan. And Mike Tomlin then yesterday said, I am going to speak with him. And that may be happening right now. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.